Hello everyone, this is True Base, and welcome back to more Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. Last time we finished off Titania and Sector Y, met the Space Whale, and beat Plasma Hydra. Who, even though it may look easy, is actually is considered by some to be one of the harder bosses in the game. This time we're going straight into Venom and finishing up this area, so let's do it! Alrighty then, what you got for us, General Pepper? Is everyone all right, Fox? You're on course to sneak into Venom's back door. Oh, the interesting. A back door. Okay. Now, when I was young, this was the level that ended me on for course two. Yeah, I know you could. But I don't think I, I. I forget if I said it back in course one, but yeah, hit select to switch between modes in the space in. In the space level, so I personally don't like the first person mode. Some people might like it, and some. But I'm, it personally doesn't fit. Doesn't work for me, though. I'd much rather see the. I'd rather see my hitbox as well, so I can move as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these things! Shoot the. Sh but yeah, just like last, t just like in other Venom, though, they're really pulling out the stops on enemies trying to stop you from getting into Venom, so. Okay, I'm, I don't feel bad about dropping that bomb since there's a bomb right there. And a slippy again. I also like how when the when when your when your friends stay around to try to help shoot enemies there they, they don't really shoot much they actually don't really make attempt to aim or something like that so so a lot of times even then when they're just when the, I just said you slippy so even then there a lot of times they're just in the in your way of your shots so. I really like how they implemented it much better in the in the later games, like the N64 version, where it was like a slightly less randomized thing, though, and they actually had a little more uses. Okay. 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 It was, it was still some more though. I wasn't sure if I was at the boss yet, since I there was like a lull in the enemies. I wasn't sure if I was at the boss yet. Bombs away! Get them! Get them! Get them! No, no! I forgot that had a shield. That would have been really helpful. Blow all this up. I'm getting really triggered. I really am getting trigger heavy with the bombs. Okay, this is the boss. This is why I had problems with this area. You just gotta shoot one half down. Oh, yeah, just gotta shoot this as well. Fire the retros, retros. Breaks! I could never figure that. I, for some reason, could not get that down. But it's also because this thing is the, the, called the Metal Smasher. Breaks! Okay, I'm good. It's also because of those things right there that that, that issues as well. All right, and and also try to shoot these little rings of you, these rings of death. No, they're not the right rings of death. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, we're good. But yeah, all you gotta do is shoot down one half of it down because even though there's still more health there, it can't smash you anymore. So all it does, so just destroying one half will just automatically destroy the other half and. Release something. Release another ship there to fly to uh, flee to the actual planet. But yeah, for some reason that that boss gave me trouble as a kid. So I mean, it's it's really not that hard. So and I got another hundred percent. Okay, that's cool. Let's go in. This is a cool area. Maybe it's like on this little highway of sorts, though, where you 
it really feels like you're sneaking into a Venom base here. So I really like the I. This is probably my favorite of the Venom levels. Even though there's not much room to really maneuver, even though there isn't too much room to maneuver, it, this, this is the one that really feels like you're sneaking into an area. I like this place a lot. Also, I don't think, also, I don't think the, I don't, I don't think any of your allies can show up in this one because of the narrow areas. Yeah, this actually is a pretty cool, but yeah. Okay, what is that? Is that okay? It's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Yes, get the bomb. Oh, I, I forgot that those fall. I forgot those fall. It's been a while since I played this. It's been a long time since I played Course Two. Yeah, but yeah, actually, I do want to say this right now. The reason it took me so long to get this one up, to, to, to get these, to get to get Course Two up, is because. Uh, I was trying to figure out recording recording problems that I had. Although now that I've got a new recording program, though, I think the and I did some test runs of it, though, and I think my audio problem, the audio sync problem, was solved. Oh crap! But okay, okay. There's a lot of these things, though. But what are those little? Biker, like a biker thing. That is one thing I don't like. Those like sometimes the enemies will pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, now we got this thing here. The, the thing that, that that releases those bikers and okay. Now this thing is a jerk. Because it tries to make you crash into it so many times. There are plenty of times. This is his main method of attack. Is just a, in addition to releasing the bikers, is just to cra try to make you crash into it. Have the brakes on. Have the brakes on hand because it helps out a lot. But really, as long as you have the lasers, you don't have to sit through too much of this boss. In fact, actually, it's already dead. And now, now we're done with the boss. Now we get to the actual base, it, center of the base itself, and now we, it's another rematch, it's a rematch with Andros. Alrighty then. Auto, it's on autopilot right, this is, this is on autopilot right now, so get, come on, get to a point where I can control it again. Here we go. I thought you might make it eventually. I, I am no good with Andros. General Pepper has guided you well. But yeah, it's like I'm I'm not too good at his vo at Andros's voice, especially from his Especially from his especially his, his N64 voice. But okay, we're through. However, you will not escape here alive. And it's the same boss fight as before. It's the same one from course one. It's, the only difference is Andros has a little more health, but it's the exact same boss. And of course, there's a like desert next to it. The only real danger is, is just trying to dodge those things that he just spits out or shoots at you there. Yeah, the only difference, again, the, again, the only difference to this fight is just, once again, it is once again he has a little more health than, than in course one. So even with the upgraded lasers, you may not get him. To, you may not take him out one in one round once once you finally get him to expose his weak point. Once you get through this phase. What the? Okay, I thought that was gonna. Okay, that ended up hitting me instead. Yeah, I'm being. I'm trying to be very careful on this one though, considering I actually died to Andros on the first. On the like on, in course one. I'm trying to be very careful here. That's not being careful. Neither is that. Oh my goodness, I am sucking. 
And it gets, and again, it's like, even though like, there's the illusion of you getting inhaled by him, though, there's actually, there actually is no danger, because I'm not even trying to avoid it, though, and it's, and I'm not even getting... Okay, there's one eye down. Although this is probably gonna take me a, this might take me a while, cause <laughs> I don't want to get too again. I don't want to get too aggressive with the eyes because the because those little because it spawns where the eye is. So okay, here we go. But like before, once you destroy the eyes, the cube appears, and you just gotta blast the bejesus out of it. But yeah, even with the upgrade lasers, I didn't get that though. But you know, it did turn orange there. That means he is getting close to falling. So. Oh wow, I just took out an eye. Why could I done that like that earlier? Oh my god. Yeah, it's just better to keep calm. Keep keep calm, take it easy, and Cause I don't wanna die again. Okay. That's down already, and now Blast the cube, some Andros cube, some more, and that is Andros down once again. Andros is defeated once again. Course two down. Yes. Really? Actually, I did. Actually, even though I, you know, I was joking about like sucking in Sector X, I technically, I think I technically still did better on this one than in Course One, considering I, in Course One, I actually have a death. I actually had a death in that one. Although, I am not looking forward to course three. Yes, you will bring up the rear slippy. <laughs> you bring up the rear slippy, though, because you're the one who gets in trouble the most and doesn't really do much there, so. But, yeah, you gotta sit through the same old ending sequence as before. There's, there's not really anything different here, so. It's the same old, same old stuff, though. You basically see this again with the flying polygons and the... And you eventually get the score, the little bit of the little bit of voice work in this game. And so, but that's but the, but that was course two. Nice, not not too bad one though. But yeah, now we get the score there and the yeah stage two sector eighty one sector eighty one sector eighty one sector I hate I hate that level now. What the eighty one? I didn't get a hundred now. No, I didn't get. I even got a hundred on stage six. Whatever. Oh, that's good. That hurt. That hurts me. Yeah, that that that, that hurts. Average of ninety six, both because of really good scores all around aboard, except for one level. <laughs> Yeah, the voice work in this game. I mean, this was the 16-bit era, so I mean, there wasn't much of voice work in the games in, gen in games in general at this point. Me, one of the ones I can think off the top of my head that I had it was Super was the beginning of Super Metroid. But yeah, now we got to go through the boss thing again, though. To, to, to the boss list again. Attack carrier, same as same as last time. So we have. And then we have the, the good old Rock Crusher again. The and, and again, it's like you just, it just really gives you like the little basic info about the bosses though. But it's like mostly just like it's like a like mostly just so you know what these things were called that what, that you fought. Yep, here is Professor Hanger. <laughs> yeah, the Shadow Thrust is basically. Basically, he can either throw those fish at you, or he can also like split into copies and try to. I think, actually, I don't really see it's in that attack too much now. But yeah, but yeah, and then, then there's this asshole, Plasma Hydra. I'm I I, I made him I may have made him look at least not so bad though, but he really is one of the harder bosses in the game. But yeah, and, and you see those things that it spawns back there. I think those are what would kept getting me for that though. But yeah, yeah, Metal Smasher though. Why was it that I had so much trouble with you as a, when I was a kid again? I don't, I don't know. And embarrassingly, I forgot what this thing was called. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the galactic. Oh, the, those other galactic. I actually had it right. The I called the wrong things by the 
thing. I call the actual bikers themselves the Galactic Rider. And then there's Andros again. Andros. Dot, dot, dot. Again, in indicating that he's not necessarily the final boss. Well, that's the end of Course 2. So, for next time, I'm going to see you guys for Course 3. So, now we get to the hard mode. <laughs> oh, this is going to suck. Course 3. <laughs> see you guys next time. <laughs>